You guys probably can't see that at all, but if it's it doesn't really hit that tree, close. it's pretty good. Oh! oh. <laughs> Welcome back to the TLS Traveled. In this iteration of the TU Retraveled, where I go back to courses that I've played, didn't beat par, and try to beat it. And today, we're at Benbook Park, playing again with Zan, who's got a free disc for us. Yeah. Check out the uh, Mint Discs Lobster. It is a 5.5 five minus 2.1. Great little turnover mid-range, a lot of glide. Um, go ahead and uh, subscribe, drop a comment if you'd like to be entered in the giveaway. All right, let's get right to it. Hole one, par four, 495 feet. We are going to install a triple mando right here, but right now it is open. Um, it's a little dog leg right, and then the basket finishes on an elevated hill. And there is OB all the way down the right and a creek on the left. That's more better. Yep, that looks great. Yeah. Miss it. Darn. Ah, you got in front of it. Yep. Ooh, that was a great skip. Great skip. No putting. Got caught up. Don't have the best of lies right here. So, oh, hello tree. Trying to go Anheuser through the middle. Oh, that wasn't Anheuser. Get up. Uh. Man, I'm really good at leaving myself with putts. Ah, that would have been, that would have been much more smart. More useful. Player beat, man. Ye old first putt of the day. Edge of the circle. Elevated. Just like last time. Ah. Oh. I was low last time though, so I tried to give it more height. Well, that's even more height. Gave it a chance. There you go. Good up shot, man. Thank you, that was very nice not to have to putt. Those are nice things. Not something I know too well, but. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hole two, 296 feet. We have a pecan tree right in the middle that you have to navigate around. And we have OB high grass all the way down the right. And almost always a strong right to left southern wind. So I'm gonna play a pretty big hyzer to, to finish left of the basket. Or hopefully not hit a person. Yeah, yeah, did what you wanted. They, I don't think they saw it flying four feet over that dude's head. No. But. <laughs> also, sorry for the lighting. Uh, it's like 820, um, 90 degrees. And we'll turn away from the sun soon. Come on, wind. Wow. Bro, what? I was like, cool, this is gonna get picked by the wind. Did not. Wow. All right, so uh, where will be somehow? I think it hit here, dropped, and then rolled back which also leaves me with an impossible putt because of uh, this giant amount of foliage in the way. But we don't lay up here, so here's a, a Sky any putt for you. Oh, I swear I was not trying to lay up. Great putt. You got a great start to this revenge round. That's right. But you beat par last time. So I just need to capture some of that energy after this. Harness the energy. Not, not the greatest start, but we're getting it back. We got a couple birdie holes coming up. Yes. It's hole three, 251 feet. We have a creek that meanders down the right. Um, a couple trees early, but you want to play just a slight right to left hyzer. Oh yeah. Oh, good. Man, that is twice now. Beautiful this first bounce. This is just incredible luck. <laughs> Terrible shot. If you watched the last video when I played this, this is the hole that broke my camera, broke my soul and my spirit all at the same time. We're back again. All right, let's get this. Ah! That slipped immediately out of my hand. I keep telling myself I need to use chalk, and I'm like, ah, no, this will do it. 
Earth. I don't do it. I love Earth. Hello there. I'm in this here bush. And my only options are trying to crush a forehand through a very small gap or a forehand roller through a very small gap. But I think I'm going to do the forehand because the forehand roller requires a very tight turn. Ah, uh, just a little more height would have got out. I hit, I hit the 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 right space. Yeah, that's but a tough gap. It's a bit too low. All right, highlight putt time. Ooh. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm taking my flip to give me just a little bit more out this gap. That may have been a bad idea now because it's on my head. Well, actually. All right, here we go. Oh, <sighs> terrible kick. I thought it had a chance. <laughs> disc golf. All right, we got a great kick and have a putt at birdie. Oh. Make a putt. Make a putt. There you go. All right, damage limited. So two over through three is uh, not feel good. It's all right. Well, I know I can birdie. Yeah, a number of them because I did it earlier. Absolutely. Thanks, sir. We are on hole four now, 564 feet, par four. We have our signature pond on the upshot. Uh, the first shot you just want to throw into the gap about 300 feet, and that'll leave you about 260 uh, into the basket. Oh, that's a little too much hyzer. Get out. Ah, hey. there way. There way. That's probably a layup. Get off that Kick tree. Left. Hey. Yeah. Okay. Useful. Okay. How far is it? A mere 345. Oh, yes. With about a three foot gap. We are going to lay up. 345 feet into a very tight gap. Yeah, that wind out there doesn't look great. It's a little windy. That should be fine. Yep. All right, we don't lay up here. I'm going for it. Footing's not great. We've got a crosswind, which really is making me debate this turnover option. It used to be a headwind. But I'm gonna give it some height. Try to get over this pond. Come down. It's down. Although I needed to throw it more of that away. That would have been pretty sick. It should be safe. Yeah, it's definitely safe. It's just probably in some trees. Oh, that's right. You're probably up by where I am. Darn it. Cool, so a little overturned, but we have a semblance of a look, but not, not too much. But I'm gonna try for you guys. Sit. Sit. Oh, caught edge. That's uh, sad. These are the moments where I'm like, yeah, lay up. Probably would have been the smart thing because <laughs> of how much hyzer I'm throwing it on. Oh, oh, dang it. We'll cut that one down at the next work day. <laughs> yeah. Ow, stop. Ah, there's thorns. There's thorns. No. Come on. Oh, yeah. Man, this revenge round is not going. <laughs> The way I thought it would. All the holes left. Lots of par fours. We'll get them. Hole five, par four, 576 feet. Uh, we have a creek all the way down the right side and then OB down the left. And it's a right to left hyzer on the, uh, the drive and then a left to right flick on the approach. 
Oh, the grass is so long. All right, I will try not to get in the grass. Useful. That, was that, a might, pump. that might be a bit too far. That was a pump. Smart man. Yeah, I wasn't gonna get there. All right, so we did go a little bit long, so it's kind of pinched off. I can't see the basket, you can see me. Basket's over there. I have shell shock from doing the turnover last time, but I'm looking at the wind and I see it's going this way, so I'm gonna do the turnover. And by, sorry, on the shell shock, I mean about the forehand. So I'm just gonna take my PA3, sorry, PA5, I'm sleepy. And just try to get it over. Come on. Tell me that's a putt. That's a putt. Let's go. What would forehand have been? Not good. Ooh. Also, that the grass we is wet not, here. We might not find that one. Oh no. <laughs> just a little flick approach. Ooh, that's coming in hot. Wow. That was good, right? I mean, it's a putt. All right, we've got a putt. I would have liked a little bit further, but I'll take this. Come on, Cam. Ah! Sweet. All right, Oof. a par. <laughs> Better than me. Man, oh, man, we're uh, that was rough. That was some good golf right there. Rough. Hole six, 255 feet, par three. Uh, the lens doesn't work over there because its focal length is too big or something like that. Basically, you can't see us when we're trying to tee off because the wall of trees. But uh, I'm gonna be back here, and then we'll switch. So Zan's gonna show us how it's done. Go for it! That skipped really long. Big turnover. Ah, cut a little bit into the roof. All right, so we do not have much at all. Oh, actually there is a gap in the sky. I'm going up top, Zan. All right. Where's the basket? There it is, okay. Is that okay? Serviceable. Oh boy. So Zan skipped over the creek. He is out of bounds. It's the first time for me. Not much back here. Oh. All right, we got out. That was probably better than my attempt at a forehand roller would have been through there. Oh, now it's a headwind. All right. There, okay, we made a putt. Good hit. I had to tell myself, be like, do not short this. Like, that was a great putt. Miss high if you're gonna miss. We had an adventure on that hole. We we really did. Subscribe for more adventures. Hole seven, 325 feet. We've got a tight gap off the tee, but then it really opens up into a wide field. OB tall grass all the way down the right side and around the back. And some pretty excited dogs over here on, yeah. the, uh, on the right side. All right, going with an explorer. That's what I did last time. Let's hope I get a little bit closer. You guys probably can't see that at all, but if it's it doesn't really hit that tree, close. it's pretty good. Oh! oh. <laughs> ah, there we go. <laughs> that was sweet. That's a little redemption. It is, it is. Oh! 
Oh, we could have a putt. Oh. We could have a putt. Yeah, uh, well, this is pretty sick. Battle putts. <laughs> I think you got me by about a disc length. Yeah. Uh, that feels good after after those holes. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good bounce back. I'm also glad I hit the pole. <laughs> I could have made <laughs> yeah, right, 20 feet. Yeah. Hole eight, 310 feet, big turnover left to right. There's a treacherous creek going down the left side. You really want to be farther right than you think. Uh, there's a lot of room long and right of the basket. I'm going back to the Mako 3. Yeah. It hasn't, it hasn't been the best, but it is the best for this shot. I think that's pretty good. Be useful. Ooh, that's also good. Ah. Ooh, low, low. Ooh, cut. Burned Ooh. and burned. Dang. Not high enough. Zan is contending with the poison ivy right now. What a legend. Ooh, that's legit. I mean, that, that's pretty good from there. Not bad. Hoi. Go for it. All right, Cameron is a little pinched. This hole is really deceiving because we thought his shot was gonna be pretty darn good. And it's not bad, but you have a lot of room still to the right. He's got a little uphill, probably 35 footer. I'm outside of the circle, yeah? Yes, sir. I thought the wind was gonna push it. I could feel it strongly on me, but it didn't do anything. Hole nine, 257 feet. We do have a Mando on the right side preventing the overhead. Um, you just gotta hit that gap. It's a little righty flick for me. I'm chalked up. I'm not liking this wind in particular, but. Heady right to left. It feels tail to me. Like it's, yay. Going with, going with the same proxies last time. Get up. I think it's over there. Yep. Get a skip. I think it will. Uh, oh, just straight up in the air short. kind of skip. All right, who are you and how are you enjoying the course? I'm Tim Jones and uh, enjoying the course. It's fun. It's got a mix of shots. Longer than most of the courses around the area. And um, yeah, it's been some fun shots here. All right, show us how it's done. Ooh, long grass got gotcha. you. See ya. Later. Ready? Yep. All right. Bit of a death putt. Again, the proxy did me well. I can just make good on it. Oh, there we go. Good too. Dog, I'm so distressed about my hands. <laughs> like, it's not hotter than it was last time we played, but I'm sweating so much more. It's pretty hot for... Like, when I played tennis, I was always doing the armband yep. because like I sweated so much, it would mess up my grip. I'm like, do I need to do that for disc golf? Absolutely. I would look so lame, but I feel like it would be efficient. Hole 10, 534 feet. Uh, this hole has a, a mando on the left side, forcing you right. And there is a creek running down the left. Uh, the grass is a little long right now. They are gonna mow it next week, so it's a little shaggy. Cameron, show us how it's done. All right, so this way, headwind. So I'm going with my wraith. I'm gonna try to go that way and smidge a hyzer and hope it turns over. But I just want the distance to get around the corner. Get up. Eh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Should be fine. Maybe we should have gone a tick up in stability. I'm bad at wind reads. Yeah, this this is kind of a weird wind. Usually There's not it's... a lot of need for that in the forests of Georgia, but. <laughs> this one's usually left to right, but it's kind of heady today. 
that could be useful. Ah, I didn't flip. Dang, I'm surprised. What was that? It was a dynasty. Is that stable? Uh, yeah, minus one, two. All right, not, not too bad. Do what we wanted. About 215 in, according to Zan's rangefinder. All right, let's get up there. Little Wait babe. for me! Come on. That's useful. Yep, that is useful. If you don't like putting. I, I really don't sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Sit, don't skip. It's good. Ah, a little weird stance here. I think you're where I was last time. Yep. So oh, oh. rejected. Sorry, Zan. That was rough. Good bird. That gets me back to even, yeah? Good bird. I think so. Let's go. We're gonna, I'm gonna break it. Hole 11, 226 feet. You've got a big hyzer skip around the right side, or you can go straight at it, but there is a very treacherous creek on the left, and if you go just a little bit left, it is not good. But that's the way I'm going. Give me a little cut roll. Oh, yeah, baby! <laughs> what a it, member's it, bounce. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take the opposite line. I felt the headwind right as I was throwing, and I was like, I can't switch. If I think <laughs> about it, I'm gonna mess it up. Yep. Oh, yeah. Uh, I didn't get as big of a skip as I wanted. It was still a good shot. That wasn't a bad shot. Yeah. You're, you've got easy putt. It worked out. There we go. When you say easy putt, that means I have to make it. Yeah, a little extra nerves. That, that's on that. how it works. And then if you, <laughs> then if you miss, it's shame. Yeah, shame, shame, shame. There's a squirrel carrying one of those giant ball things. It's like half its body mass, probably. Go Nat Geo. So that is an Osage tree or a bodark. And the Native Americans used to use those to make bows out of because the wood's incredibly strong. This little guy's having a snack. Oh, he's got oh jaws of steel. Well, squirrels are cool, man. All right, so the last time we were filming, uh, Ben Broken, I believe is what we've named it, with the camera lens, uh, I found a disc on this hole, and it was a Mint Discs Lobster, and our club is strongly supported by Mint. So I knew who it was. It was my friend Keith Russum. He stamps the discs for Mint. So I went to the tech stem, said, hey, man, I found your disc. He's like, oh, I need that back. So I went to the store to return it, and Zach, the owner of Mint, surprised me with a disc that has a UV reactive foil, and you can only see it with a black light. So when we click the light on, it says Mint Team, and they invited me to join the team. So that was just a crazy way to tie in Cameron visiting, Mint, our club, just a really cool thing for me, and super excited about that. Well, congrats, man. Thank you very much. Sponsored. Thank you. This one is a brutal hole. This is our toughest hole in the course. Uh, 500 and 60 feet par four you want to throw something right down the gap and then a little left to right around the corner just keep it in the fairway the fairway is tight uh you going with your trusty mako three here i probably am i feel like i could go saint but i'm like if it fades yep no bueno all right let's do this together mako three Flip. Come on, keep going. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's not Living the worst life place. On the edge. Not the worst place. Living life on the edge. All right, I'm gonna go with the Mustang. That's the throw of a man sponsored by Mint Discs. Let's go. Oh, look at that. All right, a little bit too much hyzer, not enough power. So if I was right there, perfect. Right here, very pinched. I don't have an incredible flex forehand game. So I'm gonna try to go over the top with Tomahawk. And sit down. That's the sound of not ideal.
Oh no, what a kick. Yike. Oh, it came out. That's, that's pretty good. They probably couldn't see that, but that's a good spot. All right, so not too bad. This branch is just in the way and I can't move any more over this way because of these branches. So it's giving it a little bit of a floaty run. Oh, ah, close. I didn't, I thought I would need a lot more height with the, the bit of wind, but I guess I did not. Wind is sketchy today. We had two tap-ins, so good stuff. That'll do it. Couple, couple purrs. That almost fell Ooh. out. <laughs> that was adventurous. That would have been so sad. <laughs> Hole 13, 273 feet, par three. The basket is just a little bit beyond that bush. I'm having a hard time getting an angle. And tee pads over there. Where Zan is, he's gonna show you how it's done. And then I'm gonna head over. All right, we're here. I thought the wind would not come into play as much, but uh, wind coming from there to here stops you from fading. So here we are, the long one. We always run in though. Oh, that's a... Uh, oh! Sit around the bush. Dang it, what the heck? I really need to do the study of why disc roll. Oh. Well, that's frustrating. One, on just didn't really commit to that putt. But two, just the sheer number of rollaways I managed to give myself. But I'm glad that I've yep. worked a lot on 15 footers. <laughs> Never a doubt. Six months ago, 15 feet was like. How's your crypt tonight? Oh yeah, just rough. But I've like been spending a lot of my lunch break just like putting into my folding basket because in our one bedroom apartment there's not room for a big basket so i have something i can jam under the under the bed and just take out it. at our apartment complex and love it hole 14 232 feet there are a lot of little guardians in the front so you can throw a little flick around the left or try to just nail that gap right down the middle there is a creek behind there's more gaps than there are trees that's right that's that's my philosophy Oh, I happened to hit one of the trees. The last <laughs> <laughs> Still a putt. 20, 25 feet. Yeah, it was it was the exact shape I wanted. That I'm was a good shape. Not upset. Oh, it's too much hyzer. Counter skip. It did not. Ugh. Then, is there a line in there? Absolutely not. Of course there isn't. This is brutal. No. We're rolling. Yeah. Ooh, that's kind of sticky. Oh yeah. The scroll, whoa, dang, well. A chalk alternative. Horse apples. What are they actually called? Uh, it's the fruit from the Osage. Hmm. Or the Bodark is the French name. Intriguing. Oh, nailed it. We don't lay up here. Great putt. I <laughs> Thank think you. that puts you in the lead. And what? Hole 15, 634 feet. OB is the high grass all the way down the right, and then some very thick brush on the left, so you really want to hit the fairway on this one. Cam with the birdie, leading us off. Yeah, this hole did me dirty last time. I'm just trying not to have that done to me this time. It's going a lot of hyzer, trying to stay under the rim. Not under the rim, under the branch. Oh, it's too much hyzer. Did it kick out? Uh, I have no idea. We'll find out. Oh, that's oh, yeah. also okay. Yeah. <laughs> so we got super lucky. I'm right here. There's not much in the way of a run up. So actually, could you, could you, I'm going to switch discs. I'm not going to do a run up. Maybe smart. Just going to take a saint. 
Okay, get this done. We're still rolling, yeah? Yep. Great. Sit. Well, I've put myself on the edge again. <laughs> With the longhorn. When you're in Austin, you gotta throw a longhorn, right? That's, yeah, that's pretty good. Come on. We'll have 30 feet. We also pinched off again, going with a similar shot, but going with the A3 and just not as much hyzer. Oh, it's gonna be, come on, get it. Oh no. I, ah. Dang. So there's, Three pokes of shade, it went in, it went in right here. And it went in about this height. Okay. So it's, it's here. All right, the boys from Fellowship are back. Caught them, we're all looking for this disc, so be back shortly. So we found it, it was just on the edge of this. So we've put me right here. I'm gonna do, Giant jump butt. Come on. Oh, is that close fish? 12, 12 feet short. I'm okay with that. See if I can make a birdie. Oof. Terrible putt, good result. Oh, yeah. We should have some of those next week. Yeah, I'm excited. It should be a little more stable than the other ones. Yeah, oh, that's good. It's all minor. <laughs> yeah. It's better than the triple bogey last time. Hey, we found your disc. <laughs> we no did. discs left behind. Get yourself some friends like that. Hole 16, 311 feet. This one has a creek down the left. There is a mando on the right, so you can't take the Simon line hyzer. Uh, so pretty much just got to hit a low ceiling gap right down the middle. Oh, that's great. Made the mando. Oh. That was about oh. to be so sick. <laughs> yep. Is that the profit? That was a bullet. Yeah. My bullet's super under the table, too. I mean, just, they're about to come up with three new ones, right? Three oh, new ones, yeah. Probably should have thrown that a little bit harder. Uh, a mid. Yeah, that would have been ideal. Yeah. Given that a little bit more juice, scurred. Come on, let's make a putt. Great hit. There we go. Good par. I was scared, man. That was a great par. Yeah, I'll get you. Oh no! Oh, you <laughs> me. <laughs> B player. <laughs> All right, hole 17, 348 feet. Pretty tight gap here, and there is a pond behind the hole. So I'm gonna throw a little right hand, backhand turnover. Ooh, ooh, I'm not gonna get in the way. Oh, that's great. Wee. All right, that was a jackalope. Oh, I did the throwing it low again. Get up! It's basically the exact same thing I did last time. Yeah. No. Easy par. Should have gone with the same. Oh! Pretty Little more height. There. Solid aim, sir. Yep. Great shot, Zan. Thank you, sir. See if we can capitalize. Capitalizes. I mean, you already had the lead after my blunder earlier. But no lost discs. No, that's, that's true. All right, we have reached the ultimate hole. 18, 545 feet, par four. There's a creek that winds down the left and then cuts across to the right. Um, so it's really a layup backhand and then like a flick forehand coming into the, the basket. So good round, Cameron. Indeed. It's been fun. Let's finish it off strong. Should be useful. Oh, 
Yeah. You know, I think I'm gonna be in that same place I was last time, <laughs> where there's no shot to the basket. Number. <laughs> Show me what you got, Zan. I'm gonna throw a cheater throw and just go over the top. I mean, you parked it last time, so. Mm. Oh, I think it popped in the frame. Awesome. All right, Roll. the birdie line is punching something flippy that way. I just want the par to get out of here under par, so we're going over the top. It'll be a par. Yeah, you'll have a good. 30 feet? Yeah, we actually have a putt. We got a putt. You roll Great shot, boy. <laughs> that was nuts. <laughs> Thank you. I just yeeted it. I was like, I do not want to end with anything over there. I did attempt. You ran it. Under par. I am under par. There you go. I mean, it'd be a shame to miss this one. That was fun, man. It was. Thanks for coming out. Thank you. All right, so that's the round. Managed to beat par, not by much, but it's we did it. In. Yeah, it started out rough. Had some good holes, had some bad breaks. Climbed a tree. You gotta send me that video. Absolutely, that was impressive. <laughs> I'll put it in. That was impressive. Yeah, you actually came back from being over par. Most people get under par early and then hang on, make a few bogeys, but you played a little better on the back nine. Yeah. So that was awesome. Thanks for coming out. Leander, Texas, uh, the Hill Country Heisers appreciate it. Yep. And make sure you comment so that you can win this disc. Not, Sublime Mint Discs Lobster. It feels great. And the stamp is incredible. Thank you. That's, uh, that's my baby. I'm super proud of that stamp. Shout out to Brad Bond, the uh, designer of that stamp. So, yeah. Yeah. Congrats again on your sponsorship. Absolutely. Thanks for playing with me. Yeah. That's Tila's Traveled. We'll catch you again next time. Sure.